This is Otabo. We are made in Africa. At this point, creatively, I was done. I think I wasn't even thinking about doing film again. I was in a space of my life where I just feel like I just I just wanted my I just wanted my life back. If they wanted to take the film career, they should just take it. I was just done. And then Robert said, once so I know you're very talented. You have a problem. If you don't share, we would not know how to help you. So I sat down and I told them everything. I'm working on a film in Nigeria. I've spent all the money I have and I couldn't finish it. I'm owing a lot of people and they are on my head. They want to kill me. They are saying so much stuff about me. Stuff that I can't even believe about myself. But the only crime I have committed is because I'm trying to be a better person and in the course of trying to be a better person, I was trying to help some people and God sees my heart. That one of the reasons why I get into trouble a lot, even to this point, is the fact that I always put people first. Even at this moment as we speak, I'm not this guy, I, 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 I normally would not say this, but I cannot, it was even this afternoon I was thinking in my head that I can't believe I cleared my account so that I can feed people. And now I'm in my house, I'm like, oh, I actually needed that money. But well, I always do these things for people before I think about myself. And, and that's me. And that was actually what got me into trouble. When I try so much to change people's life, to impact in people's life, to give them my best. And now I'm in a situation where everyone that I have helped, and giving an opportunity to and giving my 100% to they want to have my head or I am now a bad person and Robert said something we understand you're going to stay here and you start solving these problems one after the other and yes they helped me Robert Peters and never that. They helped me. And um, I got my first music video job. Shout out to Josie Wells. I got paid for that. I think about $2,000. I was able to pay some money back. And um, another thing never that did. I, you know, I, at this point, creatively, I think I was done. But where the fire of me being able to become a filmmaker again started was never that wanted to do a film. And then he said, once so come and be an assistant director to Robert Peters. Trust me, right? At this point, filmmaking wise, before that, I was done. I, I, I literally don't wanna I, I to me I was done with film or you know. But when he called me back to come be an AD to Robert, ah Robert is bro, so it's fine, I'll do it. I've never been AD to no one in my whole in my whole life, even after getting out of film school, never. But I said, yeah, maybe, maybe God, what God was trying to humble me, and He wanted me to learn again, learn and be able to pick something. So yeah, I became an AD to Robert, and um, it was um, it was a different experience. It was a humbling experience. I. I was able to learn for the because in my whole life I've been the one trying to teach people, but I think for the first time I was able to learn on that robot and Nevada. It was tough. I, I won't lie. At some point the the old <laughs> I, I tried to like yeah, but I'm a director. I'm like calm down, relax. You're not directing now. You are assisting. You're learning. So I learned a lot. I but in that process. One thing Robert did not know till today that he did for me was Robert woke up my creative mind again. Robert Peters was the person that woke up the creativity in me because it was dead. I was done. And going on that set with him, his spark came back. And 
with the help of Nevada, I was able to have a roof over my head and really think again and re-strategize. And then I said, yes, what have I done? What did I do? I brought back, I, I, you know, I, need, I, I had to start rechecking. So it was like more like a rehabilitation process for me. And then I went back to the drawing board and I said it was time to finish this film. And then I have a very good friend, Ayana, who um, I was also with through at that time. She was now trying to get me an investor. We had meetings with people. Oh, my guy is doing this thing in Nigeria. It's really big. He's done it to this point. He needed people to put in this money and all that. And, you know. But to the glory of God, I was in America when I got an investor who committed and gave me the rest of the money to finish this film. And then I came back to Nigeria. I managed to clear, sort out a lot that I needed to sort out. And I went on set and I finished this film. And I'm going to give you the story about this film another day. And I'm so happy that after this whole coronavirus thing, I'll be proud to release the first official trailer of this film and I look forward to having this film out there in the cinema and on Netflix and this makes up for every hurt, every pain that I have felt. But the, the part of this whole conversation that I want to actually touch is the fact that I, I really don't understand what people benefit from trying to hurt people unjustly especially someone who's um who's been there for you someone who is giving you something you've never had someone who's made a way for you when you never had one someone who is sacrificed who has sacrificed risk i risked my investment i risked my career i risked my money for some people but at the end of the day, when she really got real, they all wanted to have my head. And that drove me to a part where I went through the most devastating state of my life. I, I, I didn't think suicide. I don't think I'm suicidal. But I just, the world was just over. Like, I was done. Depression is real. The things you do to people, how you hurt people, the things you say to people, those of you that have the ability to use social media and every other means to hurt people, there's a special place. I don't want to use the word hell. I think God has a special plan for you. If, if you try to take food off the mouth of that person who tries to give you food, I think God has a special plan for you. Anyone who has sacrificed and given their heart to you and try to pay them back with hurt and sadness, I think God has a special plan for you. For everyone who pushed me to depression, who hurt me by their words, by their actions, who wished I fail, everyone who has wished failure for this guy, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you that I'm still here. I'm strong. I'm, I'm better. Um, everything you did didn't work. What you think would happen is now a success. And um, I am, I've been able to come back, back stronger, getting myself together. And we are coming back bigger than what we were before. And I will never stop giving you opportunity. That's, that's, that's the difference. I will never stop using my platform, my talent, my skill to impact every one of you. My door is still open to you. I leave judgment to God. And I wish you a hundred years of success. But guess what? It's my time now. And that cannot be stopped. I've been through depression. I overcome it. Um, they've tried to break me. But nobody can break me again. Um, I've been depressed. I can never be depressed again. I have. I have decided to. I've decided to.
give love for hate. I've decided to love everyone that has given me hate. Um, I've decided to embrace love instead of hate. Um, I wish everybody could learn to love, you know, give love to people rather than give them so much hate. Um, for everyone who has hurt me, who has um, wronged me, I forgive them. Uh, for everyone who I have hurt, I, I knowingly or unknowingly, I ask you to please forgive. And I, I also want to use this means to, um, to say that since I've been back, um, I have made sure that my office have sorted uh, you know, or paid or closed transactions with everyone who have a pending transaction with. And I'm using this medium to say if you have any unresolved situation with me or my company, please kindly reach out directly. I'm very much available, available to to make sure we have a closure. Um, please anyone, I'm, I'm, I, I don't have any more on my list, but in case I'm forgetting any kindly reach out and uh, um, let's let's have a closure let's resolve and um, I'm not going to stop um, giving opportunity to whom I think needs it I'm not going to stop feeding the poor I'm not going to stop doing what I think is right and um, I, I I look forward to God always blessing me and making it where they seem to be known now the question would be do I regret taking the risk I took? No. I don't regret anything in my life. I learned, but I don't regret. Will I, will I take the risk again? As CEO, hell yeah, I will take that risk. I will take many more risks. But the difference is, I will do it differently. Not the way I did that time. But I'm going to keep taking risks. I'm going to keep failing. And then when I fail, I fall, I get back up and I keep moving. That's why I'm CEO, and that's why you keep working for me. That's what makes us different. So until next time, love and not hate.